Will Ron DeSantis ever be president of the United States? Play a thought experiment with me. If there were no Donald Trump, would there be a president, Ron DeSantis? We need to find out the answer to that question because it has more to do with Ron DeSantis as potential presidential candidate in 2028. Current polling for the Republican presidential primary shows Donald Trump absolutely running away with the nomination for president. Donald Trump, with every indictment, with every mugshot, with every scandal, goes up in the polling for Republican nominee for president. He is approaching something like 60% of the Republican electorate. While Ron DeSantis' numbers have gone from something like 22 23% down to 14 or 12%. If you add together Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis, and Vivek Ramaswamy, you basically will find yourself speaking for 80% of the Republican base. 80% of Republicans have essentially adopted a candidate who reflects an America first approach to governing. That is reflected at least in the rhetoric of Vivek Ramaswamy, in the policies in the leadership of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and in its origination by former President Donald Trump. But something is going on with Ron DeSantis. He is clearly taking on water, and his polling numbers are clearly headed in the wrong direction. And it would be easy to say he picked the wrong moment. He ran against the wrong man in Trump. But that conversation's been had. Let's have a conversation about the future. Politico has an article up right now entitled, DeSantis built a massive network of big donors. Many have ditched him. I take many of these types of articles from outlets like Politico lightly. But let's read from the opening paragraph. Former Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner was among Ron DeSantis' biggest boosters during the 2022 midterm elections, giving nearly $1 million to his re-election bid. But he has surveyed the field of GOP candidates for president. Rauner, a wealthy former private equity executive who is DeSantis' 15th biggest donor in the last year's election, has not given any more money to the Florida governor. Rauner told Politico he thinks another candidate. Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley has a better shot of defeating President Joe Biden than DeSantis. Rauner is quoted as saying, I think he's done a terrific job as governor of Florida, and I've been, as I think you know, a big supporter of him in that role. I think Nikki Haley probably has the best chance to win the general election, though. I think everyone is trying to sort things out. We got to win. We got to win the general on that note, a new poll put out on Thursday by CNN shows theoretical matchups between President Joe Biden and many potential Republican challengers. The polling suggests that Trump is more favorable than Biden by a margin of one, 47 percent to 46 percent. Vice President Mike Pence, former Vice President Mike Pence, beat out Biden 46% to 44%. The same for South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Vivek Ramaswamy, though, trails Biden in this CNN poll 45 to 46. And Ron DeSantis is in a dead heat with Biden at 47% each. But Nikki Haley is the only candidate to escape the margin of error. According to the CNN poll, Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis, Vivek Ramaswamy, Tim Scott, and Mike Pence, whether or not they trail or lead Joe Biden, are all within the margin of error. The only candidate to escape the margin of error? Nikki Haley, beating Biden 49% to 43%. Something has absolutely cratered for Ron DeSantis. That seems clear. In the polling, and it doesn't seem to match up with what he's done, the commendable, the laudable job that he's done as governor of Florida. I have spoken to many people 
who have been around Governor Ron DeSantis. I myself have met him on one occasion. My personal interaction with Ron DeSantis was incredibly favorable. I liked him. I liked him that day. I found him personable. I found him conversational. And I found he made eye contact and extended me a firm handshake. I liked Ron DeSantis. But my experience, I have to say at this point, does not reflect the one that I have told to me on several occasions. I have many friends who have met Ron DeSantis in many different types of settings. And the one story that seems to be repeated to me on numerous occasions is, it's weird, man. He doesn't look you in the eye. He'll tell a story and he looks off over your shoulder into the distance, down at the table. He doesn't look you in the eye. It seems to echo some of the videos you've seen on social media where he's uncomfortable around other people, whether or not that's at Dairy Queen or drinking a Coors Light at some type of social gathering, where he seems to be either faking a laugh or awkwardly laughing with his audience. I've had it been said to me that since the television era, we have never elected a president who has not excelled at retail politics. That's glad handing. That's making eye contact. That's making people comfortable. That's hearing their stories. We have never elected a president who does not excel at retail politics. Now, this has nothing to do with whether or not you will be a good president. That should absolutely be said. Personally, I have a great amount of trust that Ron DeSantis would make not just a good, but an excellent president of the United States. His governing of Florida, I think, is beyond reproach, beyond question. And President Donald Trump has at very time, various times attempted to cast a shadow over how Ron DeSantis handled that state through COVID. I think that's wrong. I think Ron DeSantis handled covid as well as could be imagined, as well as could be expected, and as well as any other governor or leader in the United States of America through that year of 2020 and into 2021. Florida avoided largely lockdowns. Florida avoided mask mandates. It outlawed local vaccine mandates. Ron DeSantis fought back. You and I both know it's true. We were there in that moment. We saw it in real time, in present tense. We lived under the positive leadership of Ron DeSantis in Florida. So the analysis of Ron DeSantis not only not excelling, but being bad at retail politics is not to say he wouldn't be a good president. But in order to be a good president, you have to be elected president of the United States. You have to convince a majority of your fellow Americans You have to make them feel comfortable. You have to connect with those Americans so that they will put you in place as leader, as president of the United States. And that seems clear right now, something that not only does he not excel at, but that Ron DeSantis fails at retail politics. And that brings up a question as to whether or not he will ever be president of the United States. The thought experiment of whether or not there were no Donald Trump Would Ron DeSantis be leading the Republican nomination for president? In that Politico article, they went on to point out other big donors. It doesn't seem to be just polling, but also donors who are beginning to hold back on Ron DeSantis. Billionaire investor Ken Griffin, who is the second biggest donor to DeSantis' 2022 campaign, has withheld his money. Griffin said in a statement that he was assessing how the policies of each candidate will address the challenges facing our country. And this spring, according to Politico, businessman Thomas Petterfee, who gave $3.6 million to DeSantis' re-election effort, making him the governor's 25th biggest contributor, told the Financial Times that he, and quote, a bunch of friends are holding our powder dry because of positions the governor has taken on social issues. Petterfee has since wired $2 million to a political committee aligned with Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin, who some donors would like to see enter the Republican primary. Whether or not billionaires want to move their money from 
Glenn Youngkin to Nikki Haley has less bearing in this conversation for me, carries less weight in this conversation for me, than whether or not you can connect with your fellow American. Donald Trump showed you don't need billionaires to become president of the United States. You don't need the donor class. You don't need to be beholden to the elite, to the rich, to be elected president of the United States. But you do need to be, be able to connect with Americans. And if that is something that is going to be difficult for Ron DeSantis, not just in the harsh spotlight of Donald Trump, but in the ever-present harsh spotlight of a Republican presidential campaign, that is going to bring into question whether or not, not only did Ron DeSantis fail to meet his moment, but whether or not there ever will be a moment. As polling and donors pull back from Ron DeSantis, I think it would be forgivable for many of his supporters to say, let's go ahead. Let's, let's wrap the wound. Let's stop the bleeding. Let's come back in 2028. But if they're going to come back in 2028, presumably to a field that does not include Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis is going to have to figure out whether or not he can excel at retail politics, whether or not he can connect with fellow Americans. Hey, it's Will Kane. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News channel on YouTube. It's the best way to get our latest interviews and highlights. And click to subscribe to the Will Kane podcast for full episodes right now.